<laughs> Hello, my name is Diet Dr. Tester, and welcome to the e-bike test bench. In today's test data, we will look at the dose drop. We tested braking power, acceleration, hill climbing, and a real-life actual range test. The dose drop is a comfort commuter with utility and performance a main focus. Some highlighted specs are the ultra-durable motor, great tires, great hydraulic disc brakes, dual battery for more range than I would need in a day, and plenty of touch points and accessories to remove all doubts. A few things to note with the dual batteries equipped, the bike weighs 74 pounds. During the lengthy range test, I carried support gear such as water that combined with my own weight came to 200 pounds. The first test was hill climbing performance. I tested the bike under the same hill under each level of pedal assist at 60 RPMs on the pedals. The hill itself is a 100 foot climb with a 2.745% grade over 0.69 miles. In level one pedal assist, I kept an average speed of 11.33 miles per hour and an average human input of 92 watts. In level two pedal assist, the average speed was 14.61 miles per hour and human input averaged 69 watts. Level three averaged 15.91 miles per hour and 34 watts of input. Level four at 16.31 miles per hour and 22 watts. And finally, full blast level five pedal assist was 16.99 miles per hour on average and an average watt input of seven from the human. The next test was acceleration, leaving the bike in the highest mechanical gear, in this case, 46 teeth in the front and 11 in the back, the bike was ran at full throttle until the display read 15 miles per hour. Over 195 feet and 13.91 seconds, the bike performed quite well. Reversing the test gave us braking power. Gliding at 15 miles per hour and then stomping on the brakes until a full stop took 21 feet and three inches. Finally, the range test. Equipped with sunscreen, nutrition, water, tools, and a dream, I set out for nearly four hours testing the dose drop with a maximum pedal assist. With two batteries in tow the entire time, the dose drop scored very well on the range test. This is a hard objective data that we collected on the dose drop. This data is presented for your consideration and entertainment. With enough bikes tested, we can actually make a leaderboard for particular tests. Let's move on to the subjective score. We've developed a scoring system for electric bikes that rewards balanced offerings and allows for redemptive features to shine. Similar to grade school, the system is scaled so that most bikes will score around 75 points. The grading scale caps at 100 points, with redemption points making a total of 120, although no bike should ever achieve that. For example, a nimble lightweight bike can score high in the ease of use category, but very poorly in utility. Moving on, out of a total of 100 points, the dose drop earned a score of 84. With bonus points in play, the dose drop came to 92 points total of the letter A. With your help, we can test more bikes in this manner and perhaps expand the series. Please input your input in the provided space on the video site and your comments will be processed for future consideration. Thanks for watching eBike Test Bench. My name is totally Diet Dr. Tester. It's on my birth certificate. My parents named me Diet Dr. Tester. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. This was fun. We'll do this more often. <laughs>